Whose money is this? I just got here. This is not mine. <laughs> What's up, GQ? It's Dwayne Haskins. And this is how I spent my first million. As a kid, I always thought I was going to play in the NFL and everybody thought I was crazy. I mean, you need to play in, and play college football, especially if you're pretty good at what you do. You want to play in the NFL. So, of course, throughout the season, everyone was like, man, what you finna buy? I, if I got this, I would get this, I would get that. And I'm like, man, I got to focus on getting there first. I got to play well. So, with all the work in, I knew I was going to be able to do it with hard work and perseverance, and you know, I made it. I never really had a job growing up. I might have worked like some football camps, if that counts as like a like a summer camp or something like that, but I never like had to work and clock it nine to five, none of that. So if we look at your resume, first job ever is NFL quarterback. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, that'll be my first, first real job. When I got drafted, I was actually at home at a bowling alley in Maryland, and I went to high school in the area. The owner's son actually goes to my high school, so it's crazy. I used to go to Red Skins games growing up, just to be able to be drafted by the hometown team, and you know, knowing I'd be able to take care of myself and not have to worry about making ends meet. Being in school, I didn't have any debt, so everything was already paid for. My apartment, um, all I think I had to pay for in college was my car bill. I might have had like maybe a couple of bills for like the library, but I had to pay that off. <laughs> Overdue books. Yeah, that's about it. The first thing I asked my agent, like, I'm drafting now, so when do I get paid? When I got my first signing bonus, I put about 70% of it away, 30% of it I put in a different account, then I bought some stuff as well, so we'll get into that too. <laughs> so before we talk about my first million, it's very important that you save your money. But now that I made the money, I'm like, bro, there's taxes. So like, I'm thinking I'm getting all this money and like half of it's going to taxes. You got agent fees, you got all this stuff you got to pay for. And I'm a financial advisor, so talk about finances, um, savings, having different buckets, he calls it, as far as having spending money, having saving money, having money put away for the long term with like three different bank accounts. Make sure you be smart with your money because at the end of the day, you don't make that money every day the rest of your life. The first thing I bought after I saved my money is make sure you save your chicken. I got myself a car and my mama house. I got myself a Bentley Bentiago. It's a very nice car. I got a custom matte black, red interior. It's my baby called the Batmobile, my favorite car. And you can see that car right here. And the tier right here. <laughs> that car, $250,000. <sighs> I'm not buying no more cars. Not a very great investment to buy cars. They depreciate with value. If you're gonna buy a car, make sure you're comfortable with what you're buying. What was your mom's reaction like, and how did you give her the house? I guess it was like the mortgage papers. I like, she has to sign on it too, because of course she's living there. Being able to just, hey mom, got a surprise for you. Here's a house. <laughs> but she was just so excited and uh, being able to, uh, you know, move to somewhere where she'd be comfortable. And give me a really big hug and uh, definitely made those 14 plus years of hard work worth it. I always wanted to get my mom a house. That's like something a lot of athletes want to do for their mom. You know, my mom sacrificed a lot for me growing up and being able to, to take care of her was something that was really important for me. How much was the house that you bought? It's not enough on the table. That would be the rest of all this money. So $750. My mom's house was 750000 but that wasn't spent for me, so I'm not gonna count that. I always wanted to go out the country. I have not gone yet. Declaring from the draft, right from college, just training and then hopping right into the NFL season, there's like literally no time to go anywhere. But I'm going to the Bahamas soon. Trip coming up next month. I like to shop smart, so I got the flights in advance, so they weren't more than like $800 and then the hotel is like 3000 for a couple days. So let's budget 10000 for the vacation. Yeah. Like maybe like five or seven around there. Finance guys watching, so I'm being smart, Steph. 10 bands, vacation money. Woo! I bought some jewelry. I got some more right now. Shout out to Gabe. I always rock earrings. I didn't get my ears pierced until I was like a junior in high school. Me and my dad got our spirits together, actually, so it's pretty ironic. I got me one or two watches, something I got on right now. The Tech Philippe. I bought it bust down already. This is like a chandelier. This watch is, can be worth over 100,000. I did not pay that much for this watch, though. I got to pull up my receipts. Let's say like 60K for the Patek. What about the chain? How much was the chain? <sighs> Another 10. Chain. You gotta be drippy. So I got a couple of nice clothes. 
My dad always says I get my fashion sense from him. He used to model and all that stuff like that. So I always kind of knew how to dress and just didn't have the money to buy the expensive things. So of course, when I got to the league, I was training in LA. So Rodeo Drive is like one of those places you hear like, met a whole bunch of fashion people out here. I mean, I got a personal shopper now and I don't go to the mall anymore. So having somebody I can just text and like, I wanna get this shirt. I saw this shirt here and be able to buy it for me. Uh, shout out to Joey Dubs. I gotta buy suits. Suits was something I had to buy for the season, being a quarterback. Bought like four or five suits, tailor made 10. If I had to say clothes and everything like that, first year, I'm like, I'm like 40,000. If I had to take myself out of the best style for the Washington Redskins, I'd give Landon, Landon Collins, he's up there. My man, Jimmy Morton is up there. Steven Sims, Dunny, Q Dunny's up there. And Crow, and I mean Rogers Cromartie is like my top five for drip on the team. I got a funny story. So I'm training in LA. I'm working out with Deshaun Watson and a few other friends, uh, Deshaun Kaiser and Manny Wilkins, over my quarterback coach, Quincy Avery. And we're playing a game. And we're like, whoever loses has to buy dinner tonight. So unfortunately, I lose, right? We go to some restaurant and they run the tab up on me crazy. First of all, it was supposed to just be us four. They invited friends, family, cousins. It was like almost 15, 20 people at the table. I'm like, there's no way I'm paying for all this food. It was like almost $10,000. I was pissed, so I didn't bet with them no more. Oh, okay, another thing happened. Rookie dinner, that's like a real thing in the NFL. Offensive linemen, and took them out to eat, and of course they ordered all the appetizers, all the steaks they can get. They do not want to go to Applebee's. They want to go to the best steak place that they can find. That was an expensive bill too. It's something you want to do, take care of your linemen, you block for you, take care of you, keep you off the dirt, and, you know. I'll do it again if I have to. Shout out to Corey. I have like a whole bunch of like murals and like motivational things. I got a weight room. I have like five, six different paintings. Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. I got Scott and Kobe mural. I got a whole like poker table of like my favorite rappers with a uh, Scarface. It's like Jay-Z, Nipsey, J. Cole, Biggie, Tupac. It's a dope piece. They didn't charge me that much. So I'll probably say another 10 for Corey to paint my basement. Being in the NFL, of course, you have family members that you want to look after, a couple of friends that you uh, grew up with. The biggest thing I learned is how to say no, because people will ask for a lot if you let them. We took care of my sister and I helped her go to school, you know, stuff like that. Something that I feel like was important for somebody to move forward with their life, I helped them with. She got a scholarship to SCAD, Savannah College in Art Design. She is a actress and uh, she's majoring in communications. She wants to produce movies, make movies, be in movies. My dad always says she's more talented than me and what she does than what I do, but that's up for debate. I need 50. Degree money set. Going to my sister. If you have an away game in New York, do you get taxed from the state yeah. of New York? I try to tell you, taxes are no joke, bro. So you'll get taxed where you play, you'll get taxed when you play at your home stadium. So if you play in LA, you're getting LA taxes. If you're playing in New York, you're getting New York taxes for that game that you're playing. It's ridiculous, but <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Let's push all this money in for taxes. Ouch. Hurts. Yeah, this is all tactics. <laughs> In my first million. I feel pretty good. Something I always dreamed of as a kid, and car and watch and my mama house and stuff. But it goes pretty fast. You think you got everything in the world once you get drafted and then you look at your check and like, it's a lot of money, but it can go if you don't spend it the right way. That's it guys, this house for my first million. Catch me at FedEx Field next year. Go skins, H-E-T-R. I'm out, later.